Alrighty. Welcome one and all. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Those that are neither and those that are in between. I am the Sarcasm Detector, also known as the Low Life Cat on Twitch. And I am a cat boy. I am a cat boy, a VTuber, and a variety streamer. And today I am going to be playing some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Continuing on my playthrough, I've been playing it a lot this week. I, uh, my intention was to put a dent in the main storyline. I haven't finished the game yet. It is absolutely huge. I believe someone somewhere said or it was written that there's about 60 hours of main storyline. So I, I, I want to finish it. The main reason for that is I actually bought the, the DLCs for this and I'm one of those types of cats that like to, I don't know, finish the main storyline before jumping into the DLCs. So I do want to play the DLCs. The uh, Siege of Paris is supposedly very, very good. So I am looking forward to that. I do want to put, uh, I do actually want to finish the main campaign. However, so we're doing that. Now we are in Gloucestershire. That's the proper way to pronounce it, I believe. Gloucestershire. I uh, don't believe what is written on your screen. We were here last time, uh, during the last stream at the end, towards the end of the last stream. We started this particular arc, and in the last episode, what had happened was our blacksmith from town decided to come all the way over here to get married. And my character, Ivor, is here to be his wing viking. It's working really well, uh, although he seemed to have uh, gotten drunk and, and broke his leg or something, and... I seem to have gotten drugged and accused of murder, so we are dealing with that. We're going to go find a antidote to that uh, drugging at this very moment. So we're going to dive right into it. I don't like to spend too much time in the preamble for those of you who know me. I like to do chill and calm content, and I like to think of my stream as a nice calm place on the internet. There may be shenanigans and mayhem going on on the screen, but I will be my usual calm collected self. So I hope you guys enjoy yourself tonight. Oh, well, I missed that. I didn't need to kill those guys, I just felt like it. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. First of all, I do have some skill points that I must spend, and I put like, these are the mastery points, so I guess this is the end game. <laughs> Paragon leveling type deal. And if I leave, I can't leave it to fate, okay. And we do have to spend them manually. Well, that sucks that we have to spend them manually. One thing I forgot to do, forgot to kill this guy last time I was streaming. Uh, what are you? Yeah, he. I, I defeated him. Forgot to go kill that guy. Let's take a quick look at the world where we are. Where is this cottage? Is the eastern part of Gloucestershire? Uh, the lake here is probably where we're headed to. That is the next part of the mission we're on. However, let's go kill this guy real quick. There's no quick travel point too close to it. This will do. We're just, we're just gonna sneak over there, do an assassination, and then we're gonna be right back with the mission in Gloucestershire. Grants Bridgeshire. So if you're if you're ever in doubt on how to uh, 
correctly pronounce something in the United Kingdom. It happens to have a name with like too many words in it. Just don't pronounce half of them and you'll be fine. If you if you if you spend too much time trying to pronounce every single syllable in the name of a place, the locals are gonna look at you funny. So yeah, so it's just yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> it's actually a thing. I, I am I'm being serious. It's a thing. It's called Ellison. That's where you just do not pronounce half the half the words or half the syllables. Just drop them. And we're heading in this direction. Okay. The guys in the town. This was the closest quick travel point to the town itself. Let's toggle our disguise. I, I guess I could have ridden the mount in, but. It's such a close distance. And it's nighttime. Are these guys gonna let me in? I am seriously overpowered for this particular region, so if these guys try to stop me, it should be quite tiller. Oh no, these are these are these are Vikings. This is actually a uh, a friendly town. Okay. There's no suspicion or anything like that. But there is a, a high-ranking member of the Order of Ancients. I'm chilling out right here in the town. <laughs> Try and sneak up on him. mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scot could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is, here in the blood blackened mud. And you are toast. Nice. Alright, so that was another member. Note taken from the leader. Order clues. Okay, we have a clue. What clue does that give us? That is the three of six for him. Okay. That's what we just got. The father is highly educated. Interesting. Alright, so we're still looking for a few more. Uh, we got four more zealots. We got these three here, plus their command. These three here, plus their commander. Okay. Now back to the world. And Gloucestershire. I think this happens to be the best location. I was watching a... Uh, a YouTube video not too long ago. And there, closer. Okay, and it was about uh, a guy, he was making a comparison between, well, first video I watched was a comparison between Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And that, that was a pretty laughable episode. The number of things here Let's select that. The second video was him making a comparison between Valhalla and Origins. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna argue with his opinions, because obviously there is opinions. Uh, there's, there's this one thing I will take exception to, though. In this comparison with 
Let's get you on auto. His comparison between Origins and Valhalla, one of the points he was making was that in Origins, you get to see some really great and beautiful sites in Egypt, like the pyramids, um, and I guess uh, all the temples and stuff as well. Why is this guy wanting to go right? No, I wanna, I wanna go in that direction. Okay, no, I, it doesn't want to do that. Okay. Well, we'll just do the manual one. And I agree with them. I absolutely agree with that fact. Origins is absolutely stupendous. Um, the point the point I disagree with is that he said that um, in Valhalla there's a, bl a lot of running around in big emptinesses or there's nothing there's not nothing similar to that uh, to be fair when he made the video it uh, he did mention that the game had only been out for about a month uh, there are definitely spectacular locations in Valhalla, both in England and in Norway, and some of the other, uh, the sites that we've seen so far. Asgard was beautiful to play in. Jotunheim was also very beautiful. The New World was pretty good as well. I haven't been to France or Ireland yet. I haven't had a chance to take a look. But just just in here where you um, like you can go to Stonehenge, you can see other like legendary like going to Avebury, going to stumbling upon Seahenge, for example, and other other things uh, that are did, you know dotted around the countryside of 9th century England. Uh, you have stuff from all the way from the Stone Age Roman ruins, as uh, you know, early Saxon Definitely stuff. The Druid. Okay, I've been talking so much. I should probably kill this guy. And his friend. got tungsten from that that is good lovely I need the tungsten I need to do so much upgrading all right enough of the uh, the jaw wagging where is this little piece of treasure that's less I might as well pick it up right and it looks like this is not a way up It's just a, oh, it's got fabric on it. Perfect. Fabric is actually kind of hard to get. There's another ingot here. This could that be another piece of tungsten? Uh, about to find out. I, if I remember from the map, it was actually underwater. Yeah, it looks like it's pointing us downwards. Let's see if we can jump off here and do a dive. Hold on. Is it in here? I'm guessing we have to dive into it. How do we get out, though? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, but let's try diving into it. Does this branch help us dive into it? <laughs> it might actually. 
Oh, okay, I see. And that's another tungsten, perfect. And there is a bear, is that my bear? It is my bear, okay, never mind. Fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. I see no need to go busting through his doors yet. It's a kitty cat. Kitty cat. Hold on. Come here. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Cat. Come here. Come here, cat. I, I, I guess I can't pet the cat. Cat, cat is like teasing me. It's a good cat. That is a best cat for sure. Knock, knock. Just as Mordrin said, maybe I should disguise myself. I see, Burr. Oh, spirit, you have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here. The ritual may begin. Oh. But the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Alright, he's gonna be on the glen. Let's quickly switch over to this. It's uh it's been okay. Um it does its own thing. The and out there in the back and it's not uh, is it tied to the head i don't think it's tied to the head anymore although i i could move it around if i if i jostle myself around so i think uh, it is a lot better i haven't been paying attention to it really i've just i just noticed it every once in a while in the back there just kind of flitting flittering by Let's get back to this. Thank you, by the way. I, I didn't get a chance to tell you. I've been uh, I've been using it for the past couple of streams. Uh, what do I need? Uh, ritual requires fire. Uh, a wickerman speaks. Now let them speak in chorus. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. Any more are there? I seem to have set all my arrows on fire. Let's use the sight. Or hold up. Okay, now I see them. Let there be cacophony! One more! One more! Cacophony? Oh, here you are. They roar! Do you hear them? A chorus of fire! That should be the last one. Back to the uh, druid. Okay. Druids are a little crazy. Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I'm a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which charm protects from evil spirits?
Um, I guess I don't know. A measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. These are what were lit up here before. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets. Tell old friend of the journey, speak to me. Okay. I should have probably done the investigation before. Or it, it started automatically. There's something down there as well. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Lords, threefold death. Lords and the lowly die a threefold death. Hangman. Okay. And how do we get down through here? Okay. So let me check if there's any other things. There's quite a number of things, actually. This dagger is placed upside down. Release the past, round and about to be circle cast. Okay. Absolutely no meaning to me. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Celtic knot. To ward off spirits of evil and woe, tight so tight. So Celtic knot is for something. Something, something, something. I'm, I think we're going to be quizzed on this a little bit later. How good we will do. That is... Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. Double spoon. It's like a marriage thing, even. All right, well. Is that enough? Seem to have gotten this. Is there one more thing here? No, we already got that. So let's let's try talking to him. Speak to me, O oh wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spirit of light, answer me this. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic knot wards of harm. A secure knot indeed. Only one of light need not fear it. Tell me, O oh being of air and light, which is the charm you would use to leave the past behind? Uh, Athame dagger. The Adame dagger cuts out ties with the past. The upturned blade. Things can be reversed. You know this charm. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion, I speak to druids long dead. But of course, you, a spirit, would know that. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No. Just the answer to a question. This herb pouch made its way to Glowichester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthladrin. Kuthladrin. <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halloween. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Well, at least good that's... Lord. Strange name. Can I pick up the cat you now? The awaits me at the stones nearby. Clues and riddles. Uh, another mastery point. 
Is that two mastery points? It is, indeed. Okay. So, she is near the Rollendritch. Uh, the Nanny, is that? What? Oh, up here, okay. That is the next part, the Stolen King. You can just hoof it over there. It's just on the other side of this. How are you doing, Saber? Sorry if I've been focused in on the game. We got some standing stones over there. We were just talking about that a little bit earlier. There's so many little things, or these things that you find um, in England, in the countryside. There's a horse already. She's already here. All right, let's let's do this. It's a squirrel. I can see Modron on ahead. Hey, bud. Modron, well met. Gods, someone save me. A murderous Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Teftir. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Ladrin. Name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Teftir and myself. Kuth Ludrin is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not what? have to trust me. Teftir's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. All right, let's go. Let us make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. Uh, okay, use Odin's sight is what it's trying to tell me. Oh, uh... This forest I, in old Gloucestershire feels untamed. I, I, I want to do this. I feel... Damn it. Okay, well, we'll come back to this stone. My horse for a door to another world. Where were we? This forest in old Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse for a door to another world. There is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sword. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at that. We got another Roman temple up here. Kuthludrin, the thieves warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Excuse me, buddy. All right, so where are we headed up? We're headed up there. Uh, okay. Uh... It's an area that I've cleared out already before. Well, now it's part of the storyline, so we get to do it all over again. I've gone through there and just, I guess, I, it might have been like some piece of treasure or something that was there. Or it might have been just because it was there, I went and done a massacre. Alright, we're gonna just outpace you here real quick. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. 
Have a look, Sunan. Here. Okay, there's a tunnel. In here. And he's somewhere here. He's somewhere in this area inside. Uh, this is assuming it, wa it wants me to sneak in. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're not going to do the whole sneaky, sneaky thing in. This place is heavily guarded. There's still some more here and there. See, that should be mostly everyone now. 
I still being hit from somewhere? Poisoned or something. I seem to be taking damage from something. Yeah, okay, I got poisoning. That's what it was. Alright, that in that case that means that should be pretty much everyone. Oh no, there's one guy over there. I see him. Yeah, I've been here before. For whatever was in this box. Alright, where are we? Okay, the two, we had to rescue someone, right? Uh, in the house, maybe? Oh, okay. They seem to have escaped. Maybe. Let's see you, old friend. Is there, is there like an underground part to it? There usually is. Somewhere in here, maybe? Shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Oh, yeah, I'm alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Ultimate Kunan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sells swords, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice and scapegoat, Gwilim. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Ha. Huh. That man can't pay. You're lying. Why would Kunan pay to have Teftir killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but you have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lack having him around. Tell her. Tell her we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. Oh, God, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move forward. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? I had drinks together. Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. There's a lot of smearing dung on his face. I'll even help for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get help for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. A third time? Did we, like, rescue you him before When I us? awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. Help. He ordered my this death. Way. Help! I don't I'm understand. Strong. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. This scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. He's, he's still pretty high from that, whatever they gave him, whatever they dosed him with. All right, Bear, 
come on up any second now. My, my bear's nearby, that's why it's taking him a second to get here. Uh, come, come over here. Place him. And I'll mount. And where are we headed to? Okay, it's fine. We'll just head there. It's really close. He's hurt to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Teftir. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I'm a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunon? You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modron. And please, take care of Teftir. I must get to Kunon before the festivals end. So we have to head back to town. Another mastery point. Love betrayed. And we actually do have a, a save point, but would it be better or faster just to run down the hill? <laughs> we get to enjoy this view coming up. And yeah, play this game, a lot of reasons is for the view. I wonder if there's something going on there. I think that this guy's on. I must find Kunan before I'm spotted. Already been spotted, apparently. Festivities haven't started yet. There is still time to search for Kunan. I must find Kunan before I'm spotted. The longhouse is a good place to start. from that that's why I did that just <laughs> be anonymous damn it uh, I need to get out of sight Thank <laughs> you. 
isn't I was, here. I was trying to be Someone nice. Else may have seen him. Care to test your skill at all? No, my shoes are full. Let's talk to this Bridget lady over here. here. Oh, I shall polish my ears in hopes that a word of clarity will slip through. Eivor, finally tiri de Hwalid. Bridget, uh, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I think she was asking about uh, Tevder. I have found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Richard, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you cattle it, then the Babans will do it all. I lay a god. It's you again, the Sowan Butcher. The Sowan Butcher. Never mind, Gwyneth. <clears throat> I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shoot me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Definitely have the answer. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? No, I, I... I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You're certainly an odd little bird. Mother says there'll be no one like me in the whole of creation. From the dawn of dust to the end of sorrows. Let's go back to searching. I should find Kunan. Do you want to see another trick? No. I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It is important. You're lost, Butcher. It's Eivor. Wait, it says he's... Is he upstairs? Speak to the organizers around the party to learn about. Okay. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the festival ladies in charge wear one. Over here? Okay. Have you seen Elderman Kunan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Kunan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. I must find her. Something over there. Grab some of that. Okay, it should be her. Maybe I can get a, another piece of tungsten from here. All right. I was hoping for more, but. Have you seen Kunan? Hey, it's the Mary Ruin. Arrive with me, Mary Ruin. Sorry, friend. I have other matters to attend to. You're no friendly spirit at all. <laughs> I'm looking for Glowerchester's elderman. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. 
Sounds like some eel will lose his tongue. I don't know if I want to get into a drinking thing with him. Let's see. Can we find Geva? This her, the little girl. Maybe it's something to do with her. Oh, there's someone to talk to here. Okay, no, it's just her. I would know more about you, Gwyneth. Mother says. I know. I that's that's just finding out about this character. Just a broken bone. Gimme tungsten. No, another broken bow. Uh, what is that? Hold on, there's something in there that I missed. Where was it? It's up there. Once it's up here. This one, this is just food, isn't it? Yeah, rations are full. Let's head a bit further down the lane, maybe. Someone saw me, but. Let's see, there, there are more people to talk to. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the Wicca Man. That's the church up there. Maybe if we head towards the church. There's something on my left side as well. Kunan? Oh, for you, love? I could be. Oh, dear. That's terrible. That was terrible. You should feel bad. Uh, there's another one here. Where's Kunan? Mary Louved! Come dance with me! No, thank you. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> the Marlet! Oh, goodness, you're so frightening. What are you doing after the festival? I am looking for Kunan. Right. Right. Yes. He's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. What does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! Geva is waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Oh, oh we found our way in. To the church. We, we can jump and climb stuff. What are you talking about? Okay, there we go. Excuse me, do we have to go to the churchyard? The actual churchyard, okay. There's there's a lit up grave. I wonder if that has any meaning. Right. Gotta keep my eyes. Ah, the crate. Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago.
to come check that out. I suppose we can put this down. And this is where we need to go. Kunam is inside. I must find a way to get in. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! Ha. Have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We are done with this shadow play. Teftir is safe. And I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader, and an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Moltron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Avar. All to take control of Glowerchestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything? You and Moltron. Then... Gwynedd. A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch, this was your plan. To make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired more. So when she asked me to take part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenith, but a united Glowerchestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. All right, let's take a quick look around. Anything close by? It's another point. There's, there's a bunch of things in here. It's a gutted lamp. Hold up. Well, let's let's spend the skills first. How many more do I have? That's Oh, oops. Okay, well that's fine. Oh, and did that update this? The rake. I don't think that's gonna unlock anytime soon. All right. This this was more of a side quest thing more than anything else. Get away from here. Where are we headed to? Over there, 700 something meters. Is there a quick travel point? There is not, but there is a reward or two along the way. Yeah. All right, go bear. 
there though. I think it I think it thinks that we're still in the middle of town. That's why it's kind of uh it's kind of slow. We do have to go around here. St. Ken Helms Falls. That looks that looks pretty nice. We'll get closer. Actually, we, we've been streaming for about an hour. So I think we might be good on a, uh, a very quick break before we do this next part, which is, I suppose, is going to be a boss fight against the witch, which is actually kind of difficult. Yeah. Especially if she's been ramped up to my the, <laughs> my difficulty, we will take that uh, very quick break just for uh, stretching purposes. Drink a little bit of water, and we will be right back. For those of you who are watching the vods, and there should be a link showing up to part two over here on the bottom left corner. Like that, that should take you to the next video, part two of our little uh i don't know what to call it the thing we're doing here in gloucestershire all right stick around guys we'll be right back 